Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3 Part 17. And in this segment, I'm going to be using my Renault Sport Clio that I won probably from a previous level up, so. Alright. And we're going to do it. We're going to use this in our first series of the second season of season play. We're doing the French Elite Invitational. Limited to French cars, of course, and recommended D-Class, so here we go. Time for our first event of year number one. Here's what everyone else is going to be driving. Rossi's driving the same car as me. I thought about getting the uh, the Clio that Miller's using, but I decided to go with this because fuck it. So here we go. We got three races, and our first race is going to be at Maple Valley Short Reverse. Eh. That's... This is kind of where we get into, well, actually no, we're not even getting into the real repetitiveness of this game. Once we like really get into later things, you'll kind of realize why I prefer Forza 2 over this. Because event repetition is quite a bit of thing, and it's not just with the, uh, the, the testing events either, so... Spoiler alert, but yeah. So here we go. Here's our starting grid. Let's just fucking race. Alright, attempt two because, um. Well. I spun my car by, uh, back, uh, hitting the back of Rossi's car. So, that was cool. Let's try this again, except, uh,. I need to be more careful if I'm behind Rossi in the sweeper, because that was two consecutive laps where I royally fucked it up, once trying to go around underneath Rossi around the sweeper, which was a very, very bad idea. And then the second time, I was just right behind him. Rossi slowed down more for the exit of the sweeper, as he should have, because decreasing radius. And I just kind of rear-ended him, and that sent my car into a fucking spin. So, hooray! And now we're going insanely wide. But hey, that's fine, because I'm not going to hit Rossi. Am I going to be able to sneak underneath? Yes. Yeah, there we go. I actually got a clean pass for the lead. Holy shit. Finally. Finally, I can race in the way that I want to. AKA not a fucking a super aggressive course it's like course cutting asshole. You can actually make like uh, you know, legitimate racing moves. Yeah, I'm don't give a shit about E3. This year. It's just like, yeah, whatever. The only thing I really care that we'll probably like to know things of is the new Forza, like this year's Forza, and also this year's Sanic game. But even that's already known, because boom. So, bleh. Everything else I already know about, and it's just, yeah. Let me research. Let me reset since the second E Championship race. Actually, none. This was the first uh, restart since the. Uh, actually, since the front wheel drive open. So the series right before the uh, second championship or the second E Championship race. His final lap, I have a nice gap over Rossi. I'm also slowing down way too much. Go me. That was kind of a violent bottoming out. Bottoming out sounds in this game are pretty violent. I'm not gonna lie. Like something scrapes against the ground, you fucking hear it. And there we go. It took two tries, but we win. Hooray. 
Nice, almost two and a half seconds over Rossi. Moore in third, and then wait on the E car, E class cars, and the Effers. The mother Effers. Oh, I always forget about that. The fucking UI fades away if you're inactive for like 10 seconds. There we go. So here's the early championship standings, yada yada yada. 8200 credits, car level 1, driveline upgrade discounts, all sorts of cool shit. I don't know. Anyways, let's go to race number 2. Do I like Slap Train? Nope. I do not. He is very, very awful at video games and even drifting, so no. I have a... I've shit on him quite a bit throughout my YouTube. Throughout the past year, really. Mostly in Need for Speed Underground. But yeah, so. Anyways, let's move on to race number two at Sakuba. Ooh, we're doing the full circuit this time for three laps. Cool. I kind of watch Fail Race. He's cool. I like Fail Race. I only just recently started watching them, and then I still don't watch, like, every upload, because I'm gay. So. Kroob doob doob doobed. I, I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> With that sentence alone, I love you. Thanks, Emmy. I love you, too. Anyways. Let's race at Sakuba for three laps and an interior view. Ooh. So here we go. Three laps around Sakuba. So it gets a good launch, get ahead of almost everybody. Oh god. Just bullying my way around more because he wouldn't give me the lane. I may or may not have been sticking my car. A little bit, I don't know. I don't even know mine. Yeah, he's got around everybody. Let's just uh, focus on Rossi here. Get around his Italian ass. Wide there, Rossi, are ya? Alright, let's get us a little slipstream here. Not go too fast around the sweeper. 80 miles an hour is actually a little faster than I was expecting to be able to go around here. I don't know why. Anyways, hey, look, I'm right on Rossi's ass now. And now I'm around his ass, maybe. Trying to be clean about it. Door to door. Okay, we're good. Whoa, hey, how you doing, Rossi? And I clear him. Nice. Sweetness. Meanwhile, Rossi backed the fuck off. Alright. Works for me, I guess. Okay. Final lap. Round Sakuba. Hey, look, the tester is back. 
Wow, you had steak? What a fag. You know what I had for dinner? Biscuits and gravy. I shit you not. Oh god. I, okay, I'm gonna have to look for that fail race video where he roasts the shit out of AR-12. Because that's gonna be a wonderful experience. To like listen to. Hey, I got a clean lap on the last lap. Nice. Cars, this, this is the Renault Sport Clio. As you can plainly see now, that we're outside the car. Beat Rossi by almost exactly three seconds. Nice. There we go. Everyone's across the line. Wait. Before I forget, points. Evans and Weber are now tied. Alright. And other than that, everyone finished the same spot they finished at race one. Cool. Sweetness. So, there we go. Race two done. That just leaves one more to go here in the French Elite Invitational. In the Ludo Invitational. Heck yeah. So, final race. Let's do this. Always gotta, like, be silent for this transition just in case narrator man says something, but I don't think he's gonna say anything for a while. So, let's go to Sebring. First visit to Sebring in this LP. We're gonna do the short circuit. Which, yeah. Has, like, the, uh, the main front straight, so, yeah. GT5 or GT6? I prefer GT6 over GT5. Overall. So. It's my choice. My choice, my choice alone. No, no. I like how the short circuit is exactly two miles. It's cute. All right, here we go. Time for, what was this, three or four laps? I don't even remember. I think four? We shall find out in a moment. Oh, it's only two laps, okay. I was completely wrong. So I have even less time to lollygag. Oh well, I'm sure I'll be fine. I got much better to launch than Rossi. Come at me, bro. Yeah. Really on the brakes is I didn't know when to break, so. Could have cleared Rossi there, but nope. Okay, we can just understeer, that works. I just answered that banana. I said I prefer GT6 over 5. Get ears, buddy. Boy, here's a section of the track that really dicked me. And four is a two. As far as, like, my driving skill, not so much the AI just fucking destroying me, the back of my car. So I got a nice run of, uh, Le Mans quarter, quarter, corner, turn 16. So around Sunset Bend. In the lead. And here we come to complete lap one. This actually was a longer lap than I expected. About 30 seconds longer than I expected. happening in the chat. I think we're roasting people or something. Subtly, or maybe not so subtly. Ah, 
fair to stream lag, but still. Mm. This is why you should watch the stream on YouTube, so you can at least like rewind it if you lag a little bit. But you know, climbing and plifba. Oh yeah, I haven't done this yet in the LP. We. Spin a rooney. Oh shit. I was too busy doing a spin a rooney to pay attention to where my car actually was. Uh, only I would hit the ball in the straightaway. I'm a fucking master of car. I, s I tell you what. Alright, anyways, there we go. Spears got shut out again. Nice. What a fag. No, no. I'd pay 347 credits for that. Hooray. So. Another series down. Another victory and all that shit. Another 12,000 credits. When the hell did I hit 200,000? I'm almost at 300 now. Holy damn. Alright, well then. Anyways, that's done. So, time for the next world championship. Good luck. So, in the next segment, we're going to begin the Class C championship. That'll be a fun one. So there we go. French Elite Invitational complete. So, we shall move on to round one of the Class C championship in the next segment. Also, you note over here. Now we're done with the Class E championship. Alright, fine. Fucking. Get in the car. Yeah, there. Done. So, anyways, Class E, round one, next segment. Stay tuned for more Forza.